Welcome to the Preakness Stakes Preview. It's the 149th running, and you can watch on NBC on Saturday, May the 18th at around 6.50 p.m. The Preakness is the second leg of horse racing's Triple Crown. The Grade 1 race has a purse of $2 million. They'll run 1 and 3 16th miles on the dirt. Saturday's weather forecast in Baltimore, 69 degrees, and it looks like rain. A couple of dry days beforehand, so hopefully it doesn't get too wet. The nine race field with the morning lines. The number one, Mugatu, 20 to one. Number two, Uncle Heavy, 20 to one. Three, Catching Freedom, six to one. Four, Muth, eight to five favorite. Five, Mystic Dan, five to two, Kentucky Derby winner. Six, Seize the Gray, 15 to one. Seven, Just Steel, 15 to one. Eight, Tustin Gold, eight to one. And number nine, Imagination, six to one. The first horse's profile will be a little longer, so you know what you're looking at. The number one, Mugatu, is a Blofeld Colt out of Union Way by Union Rags. Jockey by Joe Bravo, trained by Jeff Angler. Has one career win from 12 starts, one second place finish, and came in third three times top equibase figure of a 96 has career earnings of oh just over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars was fifth at the toyota bluegrass fourth in the john battaglia and let's go look at his victory in a maiden special way to golf stream in november and uh, they are off Mugatu starts to fire up. He's four wide with two and a half lengths to make up. Mythic Performance moves up from a fifth. Rapscallion fires on from the back. Three quarters, one th 14 and one, they turn for home. The man up front still maintaining a short lead. Halbon won't go away from way downtown. Mugatu is rolling up at the outside. Here's Mugatu late of the scene. Mugatu will move up to what? Joe Bravo and Mugatu. Draw clear to win easily. The two is Uncle Heavy. He's a social inclusion cult out of Expect Wonderful by Tis Wonderful. Jockey will be Irad Ortiz Jr., trained by Robert Reed Jr. Has three victories from five career starts, top equibase of a 95, career earnings just over 320000 Came in fifth at the Wood Memorial last out, won the Wither Stakes, and won the Wait For It Stakes at Parks in December. Let's take a look at the Withers. And they're off. It's El Grandeo who kicks away. Kane continues to chase. Uncle Heavy is trying to commence a rally. Is making hard work of it. Light line and deposition on the grandstand side. But El Grandeo is still there. El Grandeo. Here comes a run from Uncle Heavy. And Uncle Heavy in between horses. Deposition on the far outside. Light line right there. El Grandeo needs the wire. Uncle Heavy late. It's a photo finish. Oh, that's two noses on the line. El Grandeo trying to hold off an oncoming Uncle Heavy. We got ourselves a bit of a double here. The three catching freedom and the eight Tuscan gold who both have come out of the Louisiana Derby. Catching freedom is a constitution cult out of Catch My Drift by Pioneer of the Nile. Jockey will be Flavian Pratt, trained by Brad Cox. Has three victories from six career starts and one third place finish. Top echo base of a 107. Ran fourth last out in the Kentucky Derby after winning the Louisiana Derby. Over a million dollars of career earnings. Catching freedom. And popping out of the eight hole is Tuscan Gold. He's a Metaglia Oro Colt out of Valdorna by Curlin. Jockey Tyler Gaffleone, trained by Chad Brown, has one victory from three career starts and one third place finish. Top equibase of a 105. Just under 150,000 in career earnings. Last out finished third in the Louisiana Derby. Tuscan Gold. And they're off. The Twinspires.com, Louisiana Derby. 
And Catching Freedom has dropped back to being 11th and last. The opening quarter covered in 23.49 seconds. Catching Freedom is unwinding on the extreme outside to the final quarter of a mile and it's common defense toward the inside. Track Phantom determined. Track Phantom sticking that neck out. Just holds common defense. Moving up Dusk and Gold and here comes Catching Freedom who's charging for Flavian Pratt. They come past the 16th. Last to first. It's Catching Freedom to win the Louisiana Derby. Have another bit of a double again. What happened in the Arkansas Derby? The number four is Muth. He's a good magic colt out of Hoppa by Uncle Mo. Jockey Juan Hernandez, trained by Big Bob Baffert. Has four wins from six career starts with two second place finishes. Top equibase of a 115. Career earnings. Just over $300,000. And our second place finisher at the Arkansas Derby is the seven, Just Steel. He's a justified colt out of Irish Lights by Fastnet Rock. Jackie will be Joel Rosario, trained by D. Wayne Lucas. Two wins from 12 career starts, four second place finishes, and once in third. Top echo base of a 112. 725000 or so in career earnings. Disappointed 17th in the Kentucky Derby. Was second at Arkansas. And only other victory came in the Ed Brown Stakes other than a maiden special weight. Just steal. And uh, we're off in the Arkansas Derby. And a good break for all the runners in the race. And there was a roar from the crowd as they left the gate. Off the turn, still in front. Timberlake second. Just steal third. That Mystic Dan who tries to rally on. Furlong to go. It's Muth. Just steal running huge at second. Timberlake third. Muth with a 16th to go. He's opened up by three. And it's Muth coming down the stretch in Hot Springs to win it. Muth, the son of good magic, wins the Arkansas Derby. Just steal. The five is the Kentucky Derby winner, Mystic Dan. He's a Golden Sense Colt out of MAM by Colonel John. Jockey Brian Hernandez Jr., trained by Kenneth McPeak. Three victories from seven career starts, one second place finish, one third place finish. Top Equibase figure of a 110. He ran that at the Southwest Stakes. Career earnings of 3.7 million dollars after the big derby victory mystic dan and they're off in the kentucky derby they're off the turn mystic dan cut the corner and grabbed the lead right at the top of the stretch sierra leone and forever young are shoulder to shoulder with a furlong to go but they've got two lengths to make up on mystic dan who's begging for the wire forever young and sierra leone keep on coming sierra leone forever young and mystic dan a wild finish here's the wire photo finish three noses on the wire mystic dan sierra leone and forever young in an international thriller out of the six hole sees the gray he's an arrow get colt out of smart shopping by smart strike jockey jaime torres trained by d wayne lucas three wins from nine career starts with three third place finishes top echo base of a 93 career earnings of about six hundred and twenty thousand dollars last out won the Pat Day Mile on Derby Day at Churchill Downs. Sees the gray. And they're off. Some crowding toward the outside front. Vlahos by two. Nash is set down for the drive. Top Connor down the center. Who day is there? Sees the Greys weaving through in between. Vlahos is getting desperate. Here comes Sees the Grey in between. And on the outside, it's Who day. Nash is there too. Down to the wire. And Sees the Grey comes away with the lead. Sees the Grey does it in the end. The seven and the eight have already been done. On to the nine. Imagination. He's an into mischief cult out of magical feeling by Empire Maker. Jockey is Frankie DeTori, trained by Bob Baffert. 
has six career starts with two victories and four second place finishes. Top Equibase of a 104, just over 400,000 in career earnings. Last out was second in the Santa Anita Derby and won the San Felipe Stakes. Imagination. the DK Horse San Felipe Stakes and Imagination and Wind Me Up. Imagination just in front. Wind Me Up battling bravely at the rail. It's Imagination with a narrow lead with a furlong left to go. Wind Me Up though is very tough and here comes Wind Me Up on the inside under Juan Hernandez. Wind Me Up Imagination in a DK Horse San Felipe Thriller photo finish. Imagination and Wind Me Up. And there you have the Preakness Stakes preview. Full card selections for Preakness Day will come out later in the week with all the Superfecta selections. Next preview out will be the Belmont Stakes to see if anybody, Mystic Dan wins, we could have a Triple Crown preview. Belmont Stakes, next preview. Good luck on your wagers. Let it run!